Well, the project started about five years ago with sort of a vision from our, our past athletic director, Bill Martin, and he came to a group of architects and designers and said, you know, what should we do with this building? And so we really looked at the idea of should we tear this building down and start over, and we did. We looked at that. And um, I think quickly with some experts came the conclusion that we were still going to spend three or four hundred million dollars to have a new facility where at the end of the day here we end up spending about a hundred million. The building has great bones, that was talked about a lot, but the veins and the arteries were in bad shape. The historic nature of the building, I mean, and not only from Spence Brothers being the original constructor of the facility, which, you know, is pretty amazing, but two, the legacy of Fritz Chrysler and Cassie Russell and all those things to us was so important. So to one, keep the building, transform it, but also keep it so it looks like it's still Chrysler Arena. We also wanted to not impact the use of facility for, for a season or two seasons because that was one of the things that came to us at one time was, well, maybe you need to, to close the arena and go play your game somewhere else. And we had, you know, really had no desire to do that. We wanted to have our practices here. We wanted to be able to have our games here for men's and women's basketball, for gymnastics, for all the things that we do here. Spence Brothers, I think, initially made of, you know, it was very obvious to us that they had way more than just a, a business connection to this facility and a financial investment to the project or contractual obligation, let's say. I mean, they were initially in their first meetings when they were, when Spence Brothers was brought on board, it was, they were part of the team and they said, we're going to make this work. And we also want to be able to give you a project that you're proud of, not only just from day one, but that lasts. They had already done a lot of homework. I mean, they had just been awarded the job maybe two, two weeks ahead of time, but you could tell that even through the bidding process, they had thought this through. So they weren't just saying, hey, well, we get the job, we'll figure out how to do it. They really said, we need to figure out how to do it before we bid this job, which, which I think was really important because not a lot of people do that, but it was obvious. And um, so they really came to the table with this plan of how we're gonna attack this building from multiple sides, and it really was. They had different teams on different you know, hemispheres, let's say, of this bowl, you know, some on the east, some on the west, and they were going to be day shift and night shift, and, and uh, w the demolition was something that was just amazing. I mean, the, ma the part about a demolition was we basically said on a certain day, the arena's yours, Spence Brothers, and they took it at that, and it, and it, was, it was like war, and uh, pieces were flying, and, but it was amazing what they were able to do in a you know, a week's time. It went from this building that we've seen for so long to what we could see a building that's transforming. They all had their roles kind of defined. You know, and the way I look at it is one was more looking at the outside of the building, one was more looking at the inside of the building, one was maybe more mechanical, electrical, and I don't remember exactly how the structure was because at some point in time they all kind of started bleeding together where they were really, it was just kind of like, it was so synchronized. You know, I didn't just, I knew one guy, I could go to any guy and say, what's going on, and they would know. They really took the same approach that, you know, this is, this is my, this is my company I'm representing, this is, you know, exciting project, you know, and uh, you know we want to be the best that it can be, and they, they made it happen. A huge part of making successful projects, obviously, you have to have people who know how to build things, but you also have to have great communication because there's changes, there's things you find in the field, and it, I think this is really sort of a reflection on everyone that was involved, from the subs to the university people who are managing the project, to hopefully myself, um, and to Spence, is that you know everyone took it as a team approach, felt like it was one of those jobs where I just didn't dread going to the weekly meeting thinking, oh geez, you know, we're, gonna, we're all gonna kind of beat each other up and we're gonna walk away and everybody's like, okay, let's go finish this. It was always like this great feeling of, hey, let's, good meeting, let's get back to work, get it done, get it right. So uh, to me, that's something that's really unusual and uh, you know, I'd love to have all my jobs go that way.
across the board, I mean, everyone that comes in here says it's incredible. And, and obviously we had a great talent of the designers who helped visualize all this, but a big part of it is being able to put it all together. And uh, you know, really the quality is amazing. But I mean, from the fans who came here in 1967 for the first game, because we've had people say, you know, I was here when we played Kentucky. And they're so proud to say, hey, this facility, it's, it's, it's different, it's better, um, but, but it's everyone. I mean, it's our players, you know, they have been amazed at what the concourse looks like. It's so seamless and everything really says Michigan and this facility has really met the branding of Michigan, of what we, what we feel we are. It's quality for one, it's giving the fans something that they didn't expect. For me, when I bring my kids through, you know, they, Dad, you helped build this. And so it's kind of like the house that Cassie built, but it's also the house that Dad helped build. It's the house that Shane Spence helped build, you know, and all the guys that I've gotten to know so well in the project too. I mean, because that was, that was 10 months of, we saw each other a lot. It was exciting for the university to see, you know, this real team approach to things and somebody who had a legacy here who wanted to maintain that legacy. Pretty cool, I mean, to be able to say that. You have this 40 years span of these, this company who's really touched this facility.